Welcome to TestTube, a place where we can share our knowledge through short videos. You can send me the videos to that email shown in over here and I will publish it for you with your name on it. The video can be anything about any problem that you have faced and how you have solved it. In this video, we are going to see how to add the objects manually to object repository in catalog studio there are few disadvantages when you uh, add the objects by letting catalog record the objects for you and we are going to see what are the advantages if you add the objects manually instead of letting the catalog record the objects for you into repository the first one is going to be related to the object identification so catalog uses xpath as a default object locator xpath is the slowest among all the object locators to identify that object so if you just record a sample test uh, using catalog studio and you run it it will run slowly because it has chosen xpath as a default locator so there are two ways you can um, choose a faster object locator then one is when you record the object you go to the object repository and go to the objects which are recorded and change the attribute you have to do this exercise for all the objects mm, one you, re you have recorded but if you add the objects manually by creating the object while creating the object itself you can choose the attribute which you want this will say this will save tam some time for you that is one point and second point is going to be that it is going to be really uh, difficult to organize the objects the way you want uh, when you let catalog add the objects for you by recording the application but if you add them manually you can you know add them the way you want uh, and it will be in an organized way but if you let the cat let the catalog do it for you it will take some time for you again to rearrange the folders later and move the objects uh, where you wanted to keep them in an organized way. The third point is going to be um, the, main, the namings of the objects. When you let the recorder record the objects for you and store it in an object repository, it will store with some names which you may like. It's not about liking it, it's about some coding standards. So for any project, there will be some coding standards which you will be set. So that everybody will follow those coding standards. So those coding stand, uh, those compatibility uh, adherence of your team, those coding standards will be jeopardized, and um, you let the catalog record the objects for you and store it in object repository. But this can be achieved easily if you add the objects manually and store it the way you want with the naming convention that all the team members follow in a project. So this is going to be the third advantage and the fourth and final and the biggest advantage but you will never realize is the feeling that you will uh, feel that uh, it's not a feeling it is some experience when you experience uh, it only then you can tell it so this is about that feeling you will really feel that adding the objects manually is the only option at that time so at the time if you don't know how to add the objects manually this video is going to be helpful for you now let us see that uh, video now this is our orange hrm demo page mm, we are going to see mm, how to log in and then click on add button to add an employee cancel it and log out of it and this is the test we are going to see by adding the objects manually to the object repository in catalog studio so now this is our object repository i have created a folder called manual and this is where i am going to add the objects manually so this is the login page uh, and i am going to enter the username password and then click on login button so i have to add three objects manually so I clicked on inspect mm, 
so this is my lo uh, login object and this is identified by the locator id which is text username now i'm going to mm, let me create a folder so that the objects are maintained in an organized way uh, the folder is going to be login page hrm so this is mm, something which you can plan based on your project requirements so under this folder i am going to create the objects which are for the login page so i am going to click on new test object the login um, the object name is going to be username click on okay now i am going to add the object properties and the name is going to be id and the value is going to be username so i click that uh, i have created that object with id equal to text username and i am using this one to detect the object in my page so similarly i'm going to add password object so it's it is also detected by id and this is actually the nuclear test set so there are two one is the name one is the id so by the name id it is unique so i'm using this one let me create one more test object with the name password mm, and it is identified by the attributes not by the xpath which is the default object identifier used by catalon when it is recorded property is again id and the value is equal to this one now i have to add one more which is login button inspect class button id equal to btn login mm, again the same attribute okay sorry i have to create an object login button i'm going to add the property again id it is equal to login let us select this one saved closed the password i have to identify this one saved closed username save saved and closed so that's my login page after that let me login manually now i'm going to click on this button admin now let me inspect this is again identified by id as this one let us see if it is going to be unique or not yes it is unique so now i am going to create another folder let me add it and let us name it as um, for example if you wanted to um, do some actions on admin module now let us going to create that folder with the name admin 
so here you are going to store all the objects related to admin and you are going to perform some actions on it so under admin let me add this test object admin link so in, in your real time projects you follow some order the way you wanted to name the objects also so it will make it uniform and it will mean a discipline to your team so this is the object and i am going to identify the admin link by id as this one so after i let me click on admin so under admin i'm going to click on add button which will add a user so id is bt and add and in this page it is going to be unique yes unique so again i'm going to let me check this box add add button new test object add employee so this is going to add an employee that's why i put this name and click on add button again id is the name of the property and this is the value so okay now let us save it till this point and we will we will build a test case for these objects so i am going to create a test case which will log in and which will click on admin button and then add button so let us see how this is run now let me copy this url not this one let me copy this url now let us create a new test case with the name add objects manually test now here i am going to my first keyword is going to be web ui keyword which is open browser so i open the browser and the input is going to be the url let me add another keyword which will maximize the window keyword this keyword is going to enter the username so this is set text set text and the object is going to be in the login hrm page so i have to just drag and drop that object username and the value that i am going to pass inside it is admin now again i have to enter the password 
which is again set text and the object is going to be password and the value is going to be admin123 now I have to click 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 on login button ok after clicking on the login button I have to click on admin link now again click on admin now again click on add employee click on add employee so this is going to be our test now let me run this test quickly so I chose chrome path it has launched the browser chrome browser it has entered the URL it has maximized the window entered the login credentials clicked on login button clicked on admin clicked on add so here we have to enter that employee details which we didn't uh, store the objects for so that's why the step the test case is stopped here and now our test case is passed it has executed all the steps so this is how you record a test case uh, by adding the objects manually and let us discuss the other points which we have discussed earlier uh, by seeing this in the tool so I have recorded test here on the object repository you see the objects which are recorded here so these are you, you can see that these are not organized here when you are adding them manually you can actually organize them in a sequence how you want it but here they are organized uh, in their manner in, in the order that it is recorded since it's a continuous recording it is going to be all in one folder and then again you have to rearrange them by creating by creating another folders like this however it's not going to be too difficult you can still do it with the same effort that you have spent in manual so this is not going to be a disadvantage uh, by of when you add the objects by recording but this is uh, something uh, similar to adding it manually and one notice you'll notice it here is it has some objects names which you can uh, refer to logical names of the objects so you can rename these objects into some meaningful or some uh, text according to your coding standards that you defined for your projects so that they will be in an organized manner so you have to work on it though you have added the objects by recording the web page still you, you may need to spend some time so that you have to arrange them so it is going to be the same effort that you are spending uh, while adding the objects manually so it's not going to be a big advantage but still it is an advantage when you add the objects manually you can add, add them the way you want and when you click on the object which is recorded you will see xpath is the default object locator selected by catalon so that way if you have recorded the objects uh, and you use those objects the execution will be slower so you can uh, change the options to attribute and you can choose the identifiers which you wanted to use so you can you have an option to choose the faster attributes uh, which will be referred to identify an object during execution that will again help you make the execution faster so this is the way you can still set it you don't have to worry that uh, catalon has recorded the objects using the xpath as a default locator 
you know you, you can still change it mm, the same thing is achieved in the way when you add the objects manually also but uh, i'm not saying that that is an advantage because you still can change the uh, object locators the way catalon identifies by choosing the options though you have recorded the object uh, recorded the objects using recorder so these are the two points mm, and this is how you add the objects manually in catalon studio this would be helpful at certain points where you find it is difficult that you have to load the object by recording it so thanks for watching and if you have any videos any technical video or any general video which is describing a problem and how you have solved it please send it to me the email address i have shown in the beginning of this uh, presentation thanks for watching and please subscribe if you like this video and the content of it thank you